Hildebrand with RxMuscle.com with Mike Johnson. A huge Olympia weekend. Absolutely fan. First of all, absolutely fantastic production. Not a hitch. Nothing. Pro no problems. No broken equipment. No issues at all. Hey, we don't do broken equipment with the American Strongman. I'll tell you what, we use Big Dog Strong Equipment. They're our equi uh, exclusive equipment manufacturer. They take real good care of us. This stuff is top notch, top quality. So we usually don't run into issues like that. But always the second day goes smoother than the first. You get all your hitches out of the way on uh, day one, and then day two, it runs right through. And these athletes were absolutely amazing today. Some amazing performances today. Yeah, now we had Mike Caruso, three event wins, but it wasn't enough to bring him to the top. I'll tell you what, this is his first contest competing as a pro, but he did not let that big stage bother him. It didn't affect his performance at all. He knew what he had to do, and he went out there and he did it. Yeah, and Mike looked terrific. Tom McClure, pro since 2005, a horse of a man. Tom McClure is absolutely a monster. And you talk about the split between Mike Caruso and Tom McClure, a half a point difference between second and third place. I mean, they just fought for position all day long. At the end of the day, Mike Caruso snuck in there, half a point victor, took second place over McClure as third. Now our winner, who took third at the Arnold Strongman Amateur last year to win his pro card, took third behind uh, Travis Ortmeyer, Dave Oslin, and America's Strongest Man in Hot Springs earlier this year, comes in with redemption today. Are you kidding me? And actually it was this year, 2011 Amateur Strongman World Championship at the Arnold. He took third on the big stage, earned his pro card as a top placing American. His first pro show, like you said, America's Strongest Man, he finishes third. His second pro show, he comes out here to Vegas and he wipes the floor with everybody. I mean, five point differential between second and third. He really, really, really nailed it down. I'll tell you what though, it's kind of reminiscent of what happened in 2009, the, the first inaugural Olympia's Strongest Man. Andy Vincent did the same thing, earned his pro card in uh, Orlando, came into America's Strongest Man, finished third, Olympia, and wins the whole deal. Close race he had back in 2009 with Vincent or with uh, um, with Van Hatfield, but Michael Burke shut the door on the competition today. And I tell you what really did it for him: his overhead pressing has improved tremendously. Yeah, he looked strong at, at America's Strongest Man he had to, with the with the opening axle, but here today he I, I, he just flew through that medley. Oh yeah, he was much better with that today. Little trouble on the yoke getting started today, but he really cleaned up. He's gonna work on his core strength a little bit. I was talking to him, get his deadlift up where it needs to. To be but this guy really doesn't have a chink in the armor he doesn't get a zero he's got tremendous grip strength his overhead for as tall as he is and frankly he's a pretty lean guy you know to be six foot five you know he's not a 390 pound guy at all so he's got plenty of room to fill out and gain some more muscle and he's got to go in the next season strong and confident yeah, and he's got endurance and gas to get him through those events where some of the other guys struggled especially with the the cardio related events Oh yeah, the suicide medley is a test of everything that you have. 90 seconds of hell. And you see a lot of these guys didn't finish, but they were pulling for a full 90 seconds to try to get that done. Mike Burke lives in Colorado. It's got to be to his advantage to have that high altitude training on a daily basis. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Uh, Mike, thank you very much. We're going to see you again. I'm not sure when I'm going to see you again, actually. Well, hopefully you're going to come out to the 2011 North American Strongman Amateur National Championships. Also, we're going to have the 105 kilogram light, uh, light Strongman Pro Championship and America's Strongest Woman in Tunica, Mississippi, coming up the first weekend in November. I guess I'm going to see you the first weekend in November then at, uh, at the NAS event. Mike, thanks, thanks again for having us. We absolutely enjoyed being here this weekend. Glad we could help spread the word of what you guys do. I think it's a great partnership and really look forward to working with you again. It was my pleasure. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, and, and again, we're MHP Olympia Strongman Challenge. Huge weekend is finally winding down. The booths are starting to close and uh, we're tired. It's been a long weekend. Until next time, until November, Brian Hildebrand with RxMuscle.com.